Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. It's Christmas time, so that means Christmas themed game. Or Happy Hanukkah, however you uh, celebrate, whatever. Uh, this is the Clue North Pole Edition game. It's from 2018 from Hasbro, ages 8 and up. Three to six players. And it's in this little weird house shaped box. So let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got custard cake, holly spring, pine wreath, plum tart, jolly bell, and glitter berry as our characters. Mrs. White's not in this one. They replaced her with this purple one, just like in the regular Clue game, which I find a little disappointing. But inside, we're going to find a paper game board, two dice, six colored tokens, 19 cards, six molded items, detective notepad, and game guide. Now this box feels very, very cheap, so you gotta be kind of careful. You can see this one's bent. And it's really weird because this actually opens at the top, but there's a little picture on the bottom of the contents, so that's kind of nice. So it's, there's actually a piece of tape on each side and the top. What you want to do is kind of try and open that without tearing anything. There we go. Okay. All right. So it looks like we've got a lot of pieces here. Here's our instruction sheet. Instruction sheet's actually a pretty good paper. Um, it just tells you how to play Clue. So not real complex. The board is a fold out. Oof. This is very similar to a travel game but really small. <laughs> so you've got different rooms here. We've got the bookshop, candy works, reindeer stable, Santa's den, generic sleigh room, starting room. That makes no sense. A little North Pole sign, uh, wrapping station, bakery, and a toy workshop. And of course we have secret passageways on the corner rooms which is still really cool that they kept that theme. So this is actually kind of a cool little board, but I'm a little worried that the seams are going to be broken. If you pick this up used, I would definitely want to inspect this as carefully as possible. It's not bad on thickness. It's a little better than I expected actually, but I would definitely want to check all the seams on the board to make sure that it's not torn. And the, the coating on here, not real high quality, which is real shame. This could have been a really amazing set if it had been in a more traditional packaging. Like especially because this was running about eight bucks at the store I bought it at. So I paid seven or eight dollars for it, and you could have bought the regular clue for ten. So and that would have been in a regular box. So let's take a look at our other parts here. Okay, so let's start with the movement pieces in our die. Yeah, this thing does not want to open. Alright, you get two tiny little D6s. They're generic dice. Uh, they're smaller than the usual board game dice, but they roll decently. They're fine. Nothing spectacular. These are really cheap plastic movers. You've got yellow, green, orange, purple, blue, and red. Standard colors, uh, but they are a little less high, less than high quality, I would say. They're average. They're replacement pieces that you can find online. Nothing spectacular about them, but they're average. They're not bad. I'm not disappointed with those. Here's your detective pad. It looks like you get about 50 sheets. It's 
It's got the copyright information on it. Uh, pretty standard who, what, where, that sort of thing, and your checklist. So you get a fair number of them. They're not too cited, which is a little disappointing, but you get a fair number of them. I would say there's probably 50 of them here. So that's pretty nice. All right, then we've got our weapons in this little plastic bag. Obviously, these are small parts, so keep these away from kids under three. All right, and it looks like we've got our weapons here. We got a rolling pin, a hammer, sleigh bells, a scarf, candy cane, and I think that's supposed to be a cake of some kind. These are are really low end plastic, but they will hold up. They're just kind of cheap. I'd be real careful taking some of the skinnier ones out. They will bend. They feel pretty cheap, but it is perforated pretty well. So a little lower end than I would like, but not too bad. All right, let's look at the cards. Oop, just popped a bunch of them out. Oh, wow. All right, these are very thin. And then it's all just one big folded sheet, which is really annoying. So here we've got some weapons. We've got our bells, scarf and rolling pin. And then on the next one, we've got pine wreath, candy cane, fruit cake, and hammer. That's fruit cake. That's close. And then we've got plum tart, holly sprig, jolly bells, glitter berry. And on the next sheet, we've got custard cake, toy workshop, reindeer stable, wrapping station. Then the candy works, Santa's den, uh, bookshop, and bakery. I think that's all of them, isn't it? Yeah. The back of the cards all look the same. There's no envelope for the who done it. So that's a little frustrating. So I would prefer there had been like a little envelope to put all the cards in for we, for who did it. And these are very very thin. They're very very poorly made. The design is really nice. They they did good on the coloring, the design, the imagery is fantastic on here. But the cards are really cheap. So I'm really surprised because this is on par with like the grab and go clue as far as quality goes. Actually, some of the pieces are really a little bit better. And the cards though are, are really cheap. So that's really disappointing. And there's no envelope. That really bothers me. But the notepad's fine. These plastic pieces I'm a little disappointed in, but they're okay. The main disappointment is this box, really. So overall, I would say the box is the weakest part of this. The cards are second. This box is not going to hold up well at all. It's very cheap cardboard, just like the cards. And it's not going to stay sealed very well. So you'll want to get something else to put it in, like a freezer bag or some other box. Because uh, it's just not designed well at all. Which is really disappointing because the theme is great. A holiday version of Clue, awesome. Uh, the mover pieces are okay. Everything else is okay. The board's okay. If it had come in better packaging with better quality cards and an envelope for the Clues, I would not hesitate to recommend it. I like the holiday theme idea. It's a great marketing strategy. And it's fun to play a, a nice theme game for the holiday with the family. And you could probably get people that don't traditionally play games with you to play because it is a holiday theme. And the North Pole Edition game, quite honestly, deserves better. But I'd still recommend it for less than 10 bucks if you can find it for less than 10 bucks. 15 would be really pushing your luck. I think 7 or 8 is probably an okay price to pay for something that you're going to play with the family and have some memories and playtime with the kids or something like that i think that would be worth it so i would be comfortable paying 10 bucks or less for this over 10 bucks no not a chance 
uh, I don't think the quality is there, especially with the box. But it is the type of game that you could play every holiday and make it a tradition if it was slightly higher quality. They didn't skimp on certain elements and then they cut corners on others. It's schizophrenic. And I don't understand why they did that. But Hasbro generally puts out a good product and it is a copy of Clue. If you're a big Clue fan like I am, you'll want to add this to your collection just for the sake of being a diehard completionist weirdo like the rest of us but like i said i wouldn't want to pay more than about 10 bucks for it i paid seven i don't feel too ripped off it's got a cool theme to it and the idea of it's pretty good the imagery is good it's just the cards are a little cheap it doesn't have an envelope for the uh the guilty parties and all that so that's disappointing but the packaging is the biggest flaw and it will get crushed and it doesn't stay sealed when you put it back together so that's the major flaws that being said we've seen what's in the box you heard my opinion that's going to do it for this one thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel happy holidays merry christmas all that happy hanukkah whatever you're doing i hope you have a wonderful holiday season and Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. If you want to help the channel in other ways, links are in the description and on the about page. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.